Day two of making the Kite Express. So my hinges were too small and they were too close apart and I didn't have enough foam. So I doubled it up. It's so really originally just two layers. Now it's four layers of foam. So, and I actually was uh, running out of this specific foam from the yoga mat and I had to use one of those just foam like puzzle style piece foam boards and I just cut the puzzle connector parts off and um, really I needed I mean that's easily that's all about a foot um, of board or of a uh, foam of this soft foam so a foot by two foot so it's a uh, two by two two foot by two foot board or uh press so it's, it is an extra large press obviously it's it's massive you know there's really no need for such a press so large so i didn't really care about putting a totally different foam in here even though it's a maybe a centimeter thinner than this other stuff but it is harder so when it all compresses it should be about the same so i just glued these and Obviously, the glue is still wet, so I literally just clamped it. I'm going to let it glue for the rest of the day, and, or for a few hours. It should easily set real quick. It's fast setting super glue. So, And I'm going to try and find some other hinges. And I actually got to torque these down a bit. I got to find some other hinges that will fit this. And we will uh, see how it works. So... Otherwise, we're just going to have to use clamps, which is, I get, it's no big deal, but the hinges definitely help. So we'll find some hinges tomorrow, and I'm going to actually use a toaster oven. I've been seeing a lot of videos where people are using toaster ovens for their Kydex. It warms the whole sheet, same temperature. It's fully pliable instead of using a heat gun sitting there back and forth. You know, a heat gun would be useful for, you know, final touch kind of shit, but I also have a hair dryer, so I'd rather use a a um, toaster oven to heat the whole board up. So, and I also have an old holster. This is Kydex. It's uh, actually, I've got a knife in it. Um, this is Kydex. This is a uh, multi-cam Kydex that was used to mold a uh, FN57, which uh, my buddy used. This is very old, but uh, they've kind of uh, failed at it. And I mean, it's got some holes drilled through it, but it is definitely still recyclable. So I'm going to heat this up later and see if we can make a Kydex sheath for the Cold Steel Counterpoint XL. So we definitely have enough for blade length. Oh, and I plan on making it. Uh, well, it might be iffy. We could, we're going to see. We're going to definitely see. So we're going to try something. I was hoping to make a, an open blade uh, holster so, or a fixed position holster so the blade would already be open and it could be carried as such instead of having to open it. So let's see what we can do later. All right, so we're back at Wally World to uh, get a toaster oven for some Kydex. So I've uh, got that Kydex holster that was uh, old as shit and we're gonna melt that motherfucker down. Not really melt it, but we're gonna repurpose it for some uh, sheaths, knife sheaths. Oh, got a toaster oven. It's gonna work for now. I'll eventually get a bigger one uh, to fit full sheets, but very few times I'll actually need to use full sheets. But there will be times I need to use full sheets. So. But the next thing we gotta do is actually order some more Kydex because I've only got this one holster. And like I said, we're gonna repurpose it. So, and it should work perfectly fine. So let's get home and try it out. All right, so we are home. I set up my new workstation. So we've got the toaster oven here. This, is, this was our like little snack table. So we still got, you know, a couple. Got the toaster oven here, got the press here. I actually, had to do a couple modifications. As you guys saw earlier, I put the new foam in and um, 
I actually had to get some new hinges. So we got new hinges for it too. So they're, they're wider. Um, and I had to flip the board entirely because as you can see, the wood was actually cracking. So I think four hinges was a little, uh, too, I'm sorry, a little overkill. So now we're going to, I've got the, the cold steel, I'm gonna say the urban pal and got it taped up. I'm gonna trim up all the excess tape, heat up this Kydex and get to mold it. So this shouldn't be a very long process. So my plan is to, actually, it's a good idea to bring it over here. I'm going to make a Kydex she slash holster similar to this design. So the knife would be molded, but it would be molded as a fixed blade and have these belt loops cut out so you don't need any rivets. It's uh, the taco shell or taco style um, uh, sheath. So we're gonna fold it all over it and make some belt loops for it. So small knife, simple first, uh, first time using Kydex, uh, molding it personally. So we'll see how it works. All right, kind of jank, but it works. Um, so I got the Kydex in there, the knife. Is currently molding. Got a stupid, stupid tight seal on there. So, shouldn't be going anywhere. Yeah, there's uh, no seal. Or, uh, no seal. Uh, no air gap. So, it should be compressing. I've still got two layers, so it's going to get some pretty good definition. Um, I might not have much Kydex left due to the fact that, you know, it's going to be folded. Um, and I'm going to you know, have to cut and trim some excess due to the fact that especially there was um, some holes already drilled into it. So can't complain. See how it is in about 10, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, really. <sighs> Let's do it. I am. It's not done. It's real rough right now. I'm gonna sand everything up and I'm gonna have to heat it up a little and bend them, bend these, these loops just a tad, see how these ones are, so that way it'll form fit a little more to your hip, um, so, um, it fits in pretty good, I feel like it's gonna fit a lot better once it's, uh, it's actually, you know, it's, uh, it's, the belt loops are bent, so, um yeah looks pretty cool uh i'm i'm happy with myself probably gonna sand that down just a little bit there's a little hump right there but uh yeah sand this loop up probably sand that one a little more and call it a day and then we're gonna head to my dad's for dinner let's do it all right so i had to actually take the hair dryer which actually worked way better than it did last time although i was trying to be really careful with that pistol last time and it is done, not pretty, but done, functional. Works perfect. Ooh, it's, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot from the fucking the hair dryer still. Mm. All right. You still, you put on your body and it's hot? The knife is hot, the oh. knife's hot, not the, sh the sheet, so. Works, looks cool, works for me. So, especially for my first, first sheath. I'm happy with it. Now go eat, we're gonna go eat.